Well, scientists, welcome back to Science with Sarah. Today, we're making bouncing bubbles. Oh, wow. It's bouncing so much. 14, 15, 16, oh, 16 bounces. All you need is some dish soap, an old bubble container with a bubble blower, a one tablespoon measuring spoon, some sugar, and some warm water. Let's go! Start by adding two tablespoons of sugar to your container. Ooh, it's getting a little messy. That's okay. One, two. My hands are covered in sugar. Next, add four tablespoons of warm water. One, two, three, four. The warm water is going to help the sugar dissolve faster. Close the top and shake, shake, shake. Ah, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of soap. Whee! Close it up and shake, shake, shake. Whoop. Before we get to blowing the bubbles, we're gonna talk about how these bubbles are formed. Bubbles are composed of two things. A thin film of water molecules that are tightly packed next to each other, making the outside of the bubble, and air filled inside the bubble. Unfortunately, purely water bubbles are extremely weak, which is why they pop really quickly. But when you add soap to the bubble mix, it squeezes between the water molecules and makes them stronger. Add sugar into the bubble mixture and it allows the water molecules to stretch even more with the soap, making the bubble so strong and bouncy. But the bubbles can't bounce all the time because the oils that are on our hands make the bubble pop faster. That's why we have to wear a glove when we're playing with bouncing bubbles. Let's get bouncing some bubbles. Whoa, oh, it's so big. Look at that big bouncing bubble. Oh, can you see? Oh, pop. Look at that bubble. Remember what I said about the oils on your hands? They will make the bubble pop faster. Watch. Pop. Wasn't that so much fun? And that's everything you need to know about bouncing bubbles. See you next time on Science with Sarah.